hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello again, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the No Name Podcast. We are back with another week filled with beautiful topics. Hello, gentlemen. How are we all doing? I'm not too, I'm not too bad. I'm not too I bad. cannot read the all right. As you can see, but both of the hosts are looking very nice tonight. Mac has had a fresh yeah. shave. Cry is And I have changed shave. my nationality. Cry, cry has changed nationality. <laughs> I decided that British that. food was not good enough and I prefer fajitas. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we have, I actually had fajitas tonight. That's weird you mentioned that. Oh, hey, you... I had fajitas two yeah. nights ago. Preempting it, bro. Preempting it. So, Cry is, not, cry is now our Mexican host. <clears throat> yes. Cry is now our Mexican host. <laughs> Hola, compadres. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. So, I hope, everyone well, in the chat, I hope everyone in the chat is doing amazing. Hope everyone's had a good week or a good two weeks since the last, po- last podcast, should I say. Uh, we've got some interesting topics tonight. We're going to be delving into our beliefs in ghosts. Spooky Ooh. time. Spooky time. Spooky. Uh, we're also Spooky, got, got some more crypto stuff from the main man, Maka, as well yes, as bro. discussing if streaming is a dying thing. Is this going out the window, lads? Find out tonight. Find out tonight. Will we only have four episodes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, halfway through the shit. Yeah, it's dying, mate. Right, I've got yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. At the end of the stream, sorry, guys. Deleting, deleting yeah, the la- channel. Yeah, last episode Fuck today. Well. Last, last episode today. <laughs> uh, Fuck Twitch. We're gone. <laughs> but let's talk about your week quickly, lads. Have, you, have we had a good week? I was like, I was not been too bad. Not been too bad. Not been bad. Been busy. Work. Been busy. In had peace. to go into the office, so, you know. Oh. I had to leave the crevice. <clears throat> yeah, it was fun. It was fun. That. You know, I get to have a, a good walk across Tower Bridge. Um, I get to ha- communicate with human beings. Um, <laughs> What's that, bro? And I get to yeah, be yeah. What's that uh, like? sociable. It's it's nice, man. It's really nice. That's you crazy. Know, you, you, you don't lose your social skills. You know, <laughs> otherwise, eventually, I won't be able to speak to any humans. Yeah, I'm, I'm about on that level. I'm about on that level already. Yeah, man. I've just lost any no, social no. skill. <laughs> Uh, I think I, I think Ben has the best social skills. Actually, I think you might be lying. Uh, the, the difference between social skills and social skills on a camera, I, I, I feel. Well, I don't know. Anyway, that's a different, that's oh, a different conversation. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, so, I guess without further ado, we'll get into the first topic, which I know we're all actually really hyped to talk about this. I know we, this has been kind of one since before we even started the podcast, where it was like we've got to talk about that one day. And yeah. That, that is ghoulies and ghosties, ghouls, creepers, ghoulies man. and ghosties, creepers. Bro. You know yeah. what are we saying, boys? Do we believe? Are we believers? Are we strong believers? Are we? Are we minor Deep believers? Compadre. Are we skeptics? What are we saying? No. What are we no. saying? What are we saying? Hundred percent believe, but you can have your opinions as well. I, I do believe in in. I don't know if I believe it. Do you know? I don't know if I believe in ghosts that come around with fucking you know apparitions and they come yeah. around and fucking you know like exorcist. I don't know. Come out like. <laughs> With a knife and, and that kind of shit, but sorry, what, 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 did, what did he do? Cry? What did he do? <laughs> sorry, need to, we, can you wait? Can we add a? Oh. Can we add a special effect? Ben's good at editing. Can you? Can you like add a blood splatter after that? No, nah, that'll make it really I'm good. Just, I'm yeah, just gonna, make it really... I think that was perfect, to be honest, man. No, I don't know. I think we need a little bit of blood. You know, that would, that would be that would be good. Yeah, I don't know, like. Nah. I believe that when someone dies, they 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 go somewhere else, maybe. But I don't I don't believe yeah. in in ghosts just coming and murdering people. No, not not that way. Right. What about yeah. what about you, Maka? I feel I think there is something. I, I don't know. I, I've had some weird experiences in my time. Ooh, you know, what I mean, be like, a good one tonight. Uh, I've had some weird weird things that I can't explain. Uh, but you know, it, things can be explained. See, like they could be explained by something that I don't know about. But yeah. Well, I guess we'll delve into that. Me personally, um, I I I was skeptical, but then I had a, I had an event happen to myself like yeah, yeah. a year or so That's ago, about which, the same as me. which made me a pretty pretty. I was just kind of like, wait, but how did that happen then? So we'll get yeah. into you know what though. I'm curious to hear Mac's story first. He's hyped this up to me all week, so I'd, I'd, <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting some poltergeist events. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Corey's got a good one as well, you know. Oh, we've, yeah, so we've, yeah. we've, all, we've all got a good story. We've all we've got, got a good some story. good stories. So I've got be a few, juicy but one, well, boys. Maka can go first. Here's yeah, about. well, let's, let's leave the stage to Maka. Right. Set the scene, bro. Set the scene. Set the scene, right. So I just got back from work, and no, it's just gone normal. I played a bit of Apex, because you can't. when you get back from work, you can't do much. Like, I've just, just tired from work. Oh, I was going to go one. to bed. Came off my PC, and uh, we basically have these LED strips, like on our on our landing, and 
the motion sensor. Like, there's a motion sensor. When you're walking down the stairs, they turn on. And that is that is it. But they, they don't turn on unless you're walking down the stairs. It's a really, really shit motion sensor. So, like, it only senses you when you're walking down the stairs. So, so. You've, got, you've got a proper move past it for it to activate. Yeah, yeah. You actually have to, like... Right. Yeah, you have to be near a, it. A right? hair wouldn't and, make um, it go off. <clears throat> no, no, right. no, no. Like, my, my parents were asleep. Uh, my dogs were asleep. And it was just me, just, like, in my room. So I thought, you know what? Fuck Apex, I'm dying a lot. Uh, and I was like, right, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Go downstairs. And I'm like, right, go get a drink or something. Uh, and I open my door, and these lights are already on. And I was, no. I was like, oh, mate. Like, no. They, like, my, my dogs, like, I, I remember one was literally just lying in the corridor, and then uh, the other one was downstairs. So, like, I didn't hear my dogs moving or anything like that. And obviously my parents were asleep. So, oh. uh, yeah, uh, I then went downstairs. Uh, Wait, you got thinking, balls, bro. You carried on. You carried on going down. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, I went, I went downstairs. No, 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 no. I was like, you're like a what? fucking horror movie character. Why? <laughs> Why? Bro, you Why? don't go down the stairs, my kid. You don't go down the fucking uh, no, stairs. No. Go on, go on, go on. I was, like, I was like, nah, bro. Someone's broke into our house. <laughs> I, I like checked downstairs, got a drink, and then uh, got upstairs. I literally was just sat there in my bed, like, like what, what just happened? What just happened, bro? I have no clue. Fucking weird, hell. That, that, that's odd, man. That, that's that's like something that couldn't even be controlled, like a motion sensor. That's pretty. That's yeah, like, like, I, it has I to like, be motion. Do you the know thing what is, I mean? is, like we haven't had them for long either, so I didn't clock it at first. And then, like as I was walking down the stairs, I just thought, like, no, I, like I clocked it as I was walking. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute. He shit himself up on the stairs. Yeah, he was halfway down. Yeah. And he was like, oh fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, well, then where'd you go? Because if you turn around and go back up, you never know if the ghost behind you. If you go downstairs, then it could be in front of you. <laughs> that's, that's that's a scary situation. <laughs> I, mean, I was, I was more upstairs. like thinking. I was more thinking. Damn, someone's breaking into my house. Where I live. What's just that? What's happened, bro? <laughs> Man went and got his uh, big ramble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ran around that house. Fucking you up, mate. Get his baseball bat out of his fucking room for the poltergeist, man. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. So, so that 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 would personally creep the fuck out of me, bro. I would not be going. Yeah. I would not be going down those stairs. I can tell it you that. Me. I can, I can tell, tell you that. That night, I slept with my eyes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. Like, yeah, that's you know. that's a bit. That is weird. That yeah. is weird as fuck. It was. Explanation yeah. time. What if there is an explanation? Do you think if there is an explanation, think... my dogs just tiptoed down the stairs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Trying yeah. To yeah. Prank on yeah. me. Like, like my dogs like. You know what? I'm just gonna try fuck <laughs> no. with this guy. I'm gonna try to fuck with this guy. Uh, he doesn't know I can speak English, but really, like, you, you, we all know that dogs speak English anyway. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you, my dog was just like, you know, you know what? I'm just trying to fuck with him. Let's try and fuck with him. I'll turn the lights on. Either that, or it was your parents was pranking you, like, yo, let's just run out here really quick and just be as quiet as we can. Yeah, my, my and then parents not- somehow. <laughs> That's the that's thing though, like my stairs creak as well. And like if I'd have heard, like I would have heard the stairs creak. Like, yeah, yeah. If it was like someone. We, we, uh, all, we, was... all, we all know the sound of our stairs. If you've lived in a house long enough, you know yeah, what the sound yeah. of the stairs is like when someone's got. Like you can tell if that's your mum or your dad coming up the stairs just by the sound that it makes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, should I, should I tell my, my, my little story? Yeah, go for it. Before we get into cries. So, like I say, I was, I've always been like. I've always been open to the fact that it might be a real thing, ghosts and spirits and the afterlife and whatnot, but I'd never had anything to solidify things for me. Yeah. So I think it was about a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, Jess's mum passed away. So this is why it's a bit personal. Jess's mum passed away. And anyway, we, we'd lived in this house, we'd lived in for a good year and a half and never had any electrical issues ever. Like it was just not never anything we worried about. The day after a mum passed away, every light that in the room that only Jess was in, started flickering like hell. And I don't mean just like flickering like a fuse has gone. I mean like going fucking ham, going absolute ham, lights flickering and off. It happened in the kitchen, happened in the bathroom, happened in my office at the time. And then like two weeks later, it just stopped. It just Damn. stopped. Like So it's not like we got, we got it fixed and it stopped doing it. It just stopped. It was, I Damn. don't know, man. It was just a weird, weird, weird energy around it all at the time. And it just felt, it was just a bit too coincidental with the timing of it all. That it just, it never yeah, happened yeah. before. And then all of a sudden it just started going absolutely haywire. And uh, yeah. That, yeah. That is, that is, that is fucking creepy. Yeah, that is, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I get that feeling as well. Like, you know, like when, when something just doesn't feel right. 
Mm. But like, you don't know what it is. Like, no, you know the vibes. Uh, I think you get like I've a sense. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, you get like a vibe, like weird, weird sort of like. Yeah, yeah. Like deep inside you, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? get like, the feels, man. <clears throat> no, yeah, but I don't know. There was just no way of me sort of making sense of it. Like, and that kind of made me believe, like, maybe ghosts aren't real, but maybe when you pass away, you become like an energy sort of. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, because the like, way the way it travel through lights, it's just I don't mm. know. I don't know. Mm, I think a lot of people actually believe that. I think a lot of people believe that mm. people get turned into like energy. I think that's mm. actually one of the things that scientists sometimes like. Scientists will never say ghosts are real because that's not science. But like, I yeah. think scientists will sometimes say that um, stuff like that is possible. There was something like that on yeah. the it's, it's something like once in the underground. Energy I don't know if you heard the... that one. Yeah, it yeah. was like it wasn't like it wasn't energy created ghosts. It was that the energy. Um, there was it was like the the pressure or some the gases the mixture of gases was making people um, see things differently and it was they, they weren't completely like off their head but they were yeah. seeing weird things and weird things were happening and that's that's how they come to the conclusion that so many things happened like really really deep underground I can't remember exactly no. what it was but it was you know something like that yeah Damn. Interesting one. Yeah, yeah. There's like, there's like that science theory, like that energy and like matter can't be destroyed or made as well. So like, how would we just like disappear? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gone. Like, it, it can't happen. Like, like mm. it's against the laws. I'm, I'm, I'm going to travel around as a light bulb after I die. Let's, yeah. How do we feel? <laughs> how do we feel? I want to travel around <laughs> as a fucking missile and kill whoever I want. <laughs> fucking hell, cry! Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! My, 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 that, that, was, that was quite. That was quite a jump up in where I, what I was saying. I was like, I want to become a light and travel across. Like, I want to kill. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're dead already, why not do the world a favor? You know, Damn, I don't know. Bro. I'm not. I'm not pointing out who who I will be. You know, landing on, but you know, there'll be lots of people. <laughs> there'll be plenty. Oh, fucking hell, man. Rest in peace if you're on Cry's ban list. Man. You, you probably did. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it go, you know, it go. It goes deeper than Twitch bands. Don't worry. That's, it's, 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 it's worth more than that. You know, like you're probably safe on there. Maybe. Right. Fair. Hopefully. Fair. Yeah. I'm interested in your ghost story, cry. I heard. I heard um, it was something about a doll. <clears throat> so you've been playing with Barbies. Uh, it wasn't a. It wasn't. No, no. It wasn't a. It wasn't a doll, but it was a toy. And I, right. by the way, I actually have quite a few. So I don't know. I actually have another one. I remember Mac telling yeah. me, which was actually really good. So if he doesn't remember it, I'll remind him of it because he yeah, needs to right. tell it. So. Um, and I've got a few. So go backwards and forwards if you want. Uh, yeah, so. Basically, the the doll one was basically. So uh, it was one one morning, uh, about half past nine. Like I've been on work a little while. And uh, so I, I'm in this. This room is is here. And then if you point kind of straight ahead, there's uh, the, the landing. And then at the other end of the landing, you've got another bedroom. Right. Which is my sister's. Right. She's 16. She hasn't played with toys or opened the cupboard with the toys in for fucking years because she's 16. So of course she's not playing with toys. <laughs> and when I say toys, I'm talking like <laughs> little, you know, like kids yeah. toys. little kids toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really little kids toys. Um, and all of a sudden. Well, like I started hearing this kind of like weird kind of like crackling sound. It was like a, just like a, I was like, what the fuck is that? And I actually thought at first, I was like, okay, maybe it's something like in there that's been left on. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So, so I, I got up and I walked to, I walked across. And as I'm walking closer and closer, I can keep hearing it. It's not going off. It's not going off the entire time. Consistent, like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I walk. It takes me like, obviously, it's literally just the other there. So it takes me like, I don't know, five seconds. I was walking slowly, so maybe even longer than that, because I was like slowly yeah. stepping, shitting myself. But um, <laughs> so I walk in there, and it's still making this noise. And I'm not kidding you. I walk over to the the, the cupboard where I hear the noise coming from. And it's like clear where it's coming from. And I touch the handle of the fucking the cupboard, and I I don't move it. I don't you know I don't I don't push it or anything. I touch the handle, and whatever is in there, some toy, all of a sudden goes. Da 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 da
The, no, it's a different the kind of story. Well, the time, exactly, exactly. Like, it, it's a different kind of story because the explanation like is is easy to explain. It's coincidence. But then how coincidental can you get that a sound yeah. carries on for like... It wasn't a long time either. It was like, you know, maybe... Mm. Know, a minute, it was, like, it was like something was making that sound fucking play, man. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, if it was a toy, like... You know when you move things so that, you know, I mean... You, You've got a, a kid, so maybe she has like electric <laughs> toys. And and, and oh, sometimes yeah. when you move them, a button presses on them and they start like going beep, 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 beep. And, and, and then, you know, eventually they'll just turn themselves off. So I thought that's what it was. Hmm. But that cupboard has not been moved or, you know, how, how did that toy turn on? I, I have no, I have absolutely no clue how that turned on. And I s- certainly have no clue how it turned off and made like a it was like a congratulations like oh yeah, you congratulations found you found a <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. post <laughs> congratulations, uh, bro, congratulations you you're gonna be killed tonight <laughs> sleep with one eye open yeah, yeah, bro, i fucking would be man Jeez. yeah uh, yes yeah, so that was that was pretty terrifying i do actually have a similar one i'll, I'll just tell us really it's, it's almost yeah. the same thing yeah I go for so it. it's actually not from me this is from uh meg Hill's. Um, so she wouldn't lie, you know, it's a trustworthy source. Yeah. Um, and basically, one time she was, I think she was sitting there, she was actually playing games on her PC, and she's got a baby monitor because she's got a son. Um, and he's quite young. I don't, I think he's probably one or two. So obviously he has those little, you know, the little toys that kind of move around on their own and they light yeah, up and all yeah. that shit. Um, so on the baby monitor, she was, she was sitting there like playing or watching or messaging. I don't know what she does in her spare time, something like that. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden she hears like noises, just like the one I heard, except more like toy noises, whereas I was hearing more of a crackly sound, but she heard like toy sounds. So she thought, okay, he's gotten up in the middle of the night, even, even though bearing in mind at this point he was in a a crib, so he couldn't get out and, and touch things unless he could reach through. So she just thought he'd touched and she looks on the baby monitor and he's asleep with all of these toys around him making noises, lighting up, flashing, and he's just sitting there asleep. And she said Ah! she ran in there, grabbed him, and ran out. Ah! And I think she actually... I can't confirm this, so I have to ask her, but I'm pretty sure she uh, she slept around someone else's house that bro, night. Bro, be boy... I would be burning the fucking house yeah. down, bro. And you know, you know, you said like ghosts come out when, uh, when you're most That's vulnerable weird. as well. So her, yeah, her boyfriend yeah, yeah. wasn't there on this one time. He wasn't there. Yeah. And he's normally Stop. there with, living there. And Stop. the one time he's not there, that happened. And, she, and I'm pretty sure she left and went uh, to her mum and dad's house that bro. night because she was terrified. That's way worse than the first one for the simple reason. I know. Like, yeah, like the way yeah. the way you described like the toy all around like that's like strategic shit man that's I not know, just pressing I a know. button that's lining yeah. things up at, ah, get yeah, up yeah. i hate it i hate uh, it yeah I, I shit myself when she told me that i was like okay you're fucking it. haunted i hate it i hate it so yeah. much that's disgusting was, yeah quite terrifying there's, there's <clears> no yeah. need for an explanation for that one because i don't think we'll be able to find one how is <laughs> how is mate the toys toy story isn't it you know it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Woody having Fucking a laugh. Lot yeah. low bear is out here trying to ruin all of our lives. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Uh, I, I have actually got another story as well. I have actually got another story. Oh, yeah. I've, I've just remembered it. Yeah, yeah, it's not actually mine. And back and forth. So it is. It's my auntie. So basically, when she was young, she had a brother. And anyway, my auntie had been out all night. She was coming back home, and she looked up at the window, and her brother sort of gave her emotions to say, like, "Shh, like, be quiet. I won't tell anyone that you've been out all night." So anyway, after she gets back, she comes home goes in says oh yeah i saw our brother earlier turns out the brother had been out all night the the brother wasn't even home so who the fuck did she see in the window telling her wait, to be quiet wait yeah oh, bro, wait. bro oh. like, yeah the brother had been <laughs> out all, all night bro <laughs> i'd be gone bro i would be so oh, gone oh no you actually you actually give me goosebumps that's <laughs> oh imagine looking that's up the oh. window and you like see someone motion like shh nah, see bro. It. And, and oh, it's not even no. <laughs> shut up man man <laughs> you want to check behind fuck me it, bro. You, guys are lo- you guys are lucky you got your cameras pointing straight at you <laughs> Oh, Shut up! Man, that is so man, oh, fuck you. Fuck yeah, this you, is it. Is... Maka lives in like a sixteen hundreds house. So if, no, any, if anyone was going to get possessed, if anyone was going to get possessed tonight, I would actually be worried about Maka. <laughs> Wait, where, where was the Victorian times? I, I'm a bit of a eighteen hundreds. Was it? Okay, so I'm okay. a bit later than you. I'm I'm two hundred years safer than you. So yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, at least like four, that's like four or five generations safer. You are. Yeah. There, I swear to God. Yeah. Man. 
We've got, yeah. a little, we've got a little bit of a ghost story in the chat. Do we do we? I was going to say, yeah, if you want to read that one. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is coming from our friend Jadine, and she says, when I moved in this house, we heard people walking around and laughing late, uh, late at night when we would be downstairs. We would go upstairs and nothing. Then it would happen again oh, and again. Oh, no. Oh, laughing. Get the fuck out. Um, it happened for months. I had seen people move uh, when I was just laid in bed a few times. Literally had to stand there and turn it up. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Please. Oh, it was laughing at you? No. 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 Get out. Who the fuck is that ghost laughing at, man? That is no get right. Get out. That is no this right. is... No. See what I mean? Like, this God. many things, it kind of, like, it does solidify a little more. Like, like some, some shit just yeah. cannot be explained. And you have to trust, because I trust the people that I'm listening to. Yeah. On TV, I don't trust them. But, like, the people now, I trust. I don't yeah. think you guys are going to lie. And obviously, I'm, my story is not even that unbelievable. So, like, that's... Yeah, I... Wow, that is... That's what the fuck that. That's just scared me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. is... Jadine, get, get, like, holy water. Right? Okay. <laughs> and now, can we please hear Maka's... Wait, 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 we have I'm to just fly around backwards and forwards. Wait, before, is, have you got another story, Maka? Have you got another no, story? No, I've, I've, I've got plenty. It's so good. Plenty, bro. That's... This is just a, a funny thing to link to that last story, right? I, I forgot to tell you this part, but it was like, I, th- I think like three days before or like two days, it, w- it was pretty recent, like uh, recent before it happened, basically. Right. Uh, it was really, really fucking windy. And I, I remember letting my dogs outside. My mum was in the room. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that cry. Right. Yeah, tell that. My mum was in the room and... Um, I opened the door to let my dogs outside. The second I opened the door, massive gusts of wind comes in, right? And, and like, I, it was like a coincidence. You know, like, a, in a horror film, how it happens. Like, and, yeah, and it's just, like, yeah. meant, it's meant to, like, raise the tension. Yeah, I just yeah, turned, yeah, I turned yeah. around. I turned around to my mum and I said, have you just seen that? A demon's just come into my house. Yeah, like, I said it as a joke. Yeah, and that yeah. happens a few days later. Like, that, that, ah, that's... Man, get out of there. Like, that, that was what that was like, I was just sat there in bed thinking about that moment like, like man's, got, man's got Valak out of Insidious coming after him or some but shit yeah. Yeah. oh my god these, the other these story. stories I've got man. a few stories uh, oh please Maka you, got, yeah, keep you have coming, to tell keep the one I just sent you that that is yeah the, the, the one you've just said um god. right so is this, is this your story Maka this is Maka yeah yeah this is this is a bit of a weird one so we just moved to this house about eight years well i think it's eight years now so it might have been like a year after that right and we are a bit of a gamer you know a bit of a gamer so we bought some gaming chairs you know what i'm saying um and i I I forgot what it was but they they came to a certain amount we got home and we're going out for a meal that night and um I, I, I was ready. I was somehow I was ready. Normally I'm the last one ready. I was downstairs ready, and uh, my mum downstairs ready, my brother downstairs ready, and like my dad, of course he's the last one out. <laughs> um, <laughs> basically, uh, he was upstairs. Uh, he's he probably lost something. I'm not gonna lie, and he he basically like he, he shouted into my room and like he, like he, like called a few times. Uh, like both mine and my brother's name because we were in the same room at that point. Yeah. And like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, like we, we were just sat, sat downstairs. We, like, you know, you give each other that look. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he, what's he doing? <laughs> what's he talking like, about? He was calling into the room. Like, what is he calling? Is he calling? And uh, he came downstairs. Right? And like, literally, he walked into the room. Saw it, like, he just looked in and his face just dropped. And my no, dad does I know not, what's coming. I know what's coming. My dad does not oh, believe man. in ghosts. My dad does not. Like, you never believe in ghosts. Stories. And, um, them, but... He, like, he was just stood there. His face dropped. And my mum was just like, what, what are you pulling that face for? And uh, he, he said, he literally just said, I thought I saw one of you sat in the chair upstairs. Shut the like, fuck up. It, like, <laughs> like. I, I, uh, literally like i i, I, I don't you. know how it happened like my, my dad does not believe in ghosts and like i i could not like he like he's never he's never believed in it so yeah, like, like he, he wouldn't make up that shit like yeah, he wouldn't just be yeah. like oh i'm just trying to scare you like either like, oh, he, like he's not a sort of fuck not that. A sort of guy and like literally we we went out and then we came back and uh, yeah no it was just scary as fuck, fuck I, think, I think it was like 
what, 11 at the top as well. So that was Oh fucking my creepy. God, bro. Oh, the thought of like just a figure sitting in a chair. Yeah. Oh, like, he called fucking... in because it's like, no. you know, like a gaming chair, obviously you've got the back. Like, yeah, 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 apparently yeah. He, he, he like, he thought he saw like a head coming up from like over the top, like as if someone was sat there and you could just see the top of someone's head sat in the, yeah, that is... in the chair. That is Fuck so that. Fuck that. Explained it anyway. Fuck that. Yo, man, maybe the ghost yeah. just wanted to get his apex on, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're just, no, this is just. Cry, cry, yeah, like, cry these... is not sleeping tonight. <laughs> I hate these stories, but I love them too. Yeah, I mean, edit, bro. Edit. You just can't I'm, help. I'm encouraging you it, but... Yeah. <clears throat> it's like. It's like. You can't. You can't dislike the stories for, like, you know, being. Be, you know, you know, I don't dislike them because, like, I don't want to believe in ghosts, but I actually dislike them because they make me believe in them more. If anything, it's like yeah. just yeah, it creeps me out. I mean, I've got, I do have uh, some more, uh, maybe not as good as the oh the hills, man, one. hills, hills. Uh, but uh, so actually, this one's to do with a median. So this one is actually quite creepy. Ooh, um, oh, so yeah, my uh, some of this story might be a bit inaccurate, but it doesn't matter because you don't know them anyway. So it's not like <laughs> you're gonna fucking correct me. Uh, so basically, it's like my um, my aunt, her mum uh, died, and they went to see a median to see if they could communicate with her they're kind of superstitious and they kind of believe in yeah. her. Yeah. i don't know I, I didn't believe in medians i thought they were bullshit until i heard this um so they they went to her and they, they asked that like they picked them out of the crowd um so that's how you know bearing in mind that they aren't like paid actors because they genuinely yeah, like, they told us them. this yeah so they they got picked at the crowd and they 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 like said to the woman like communicate with the mom and that and the yeah. median um she said to them something along the lines of you know your mom wants to say hello to you and she wants to tell you that there's a a i think it was a, a pocket watch or something like that in a drawer in the upstairs bedroom they didn't even know that it was there so that what gives you an idea fuck? of how creepy this story is about to get. So she was like, your mum told you, told me that there's a, a watch in the upstairs bedroom and she wants you to go, like, find it. So Bro. when they got home, oh. obviously, first thing they, they did when they went to her house is went to the upstairs bedroom. Yeah, yeah. And in a drawer, it was sitting there, hidden beneath some clothes. It wasn't even in an obvious oh, place. It was like hidden beneath, nah. and it was there. And they shit themselves, and so did I when they told me. So yeah, that's um, that's an interesting <laughs> median story. What the um, fuck? See that, that, that gets was, me because I've oh, never I've man. never believed in mediums myself. But like when you nah. tell me that, how the fucking hell would anybody in their right mind know? Unless unless the person had been to the medium beforehand and thought it just, just wouldn't happen. Just, how would they know that? <laughs> I know, yeah, and that's like, it's not even like this is like someone who, you know, a friend of a friend is actually yeah, yeah. like someone who I know really well who wouldn't lie about it. It's that, that creeped me the fuck. And bear Whoa. in mind, this same family, um, the, uh, the, the, so my uncle, um, yeah. so it's his mother-in-law, he, now this, this you could say is fake. I, I, uh, well, not fake, but you know, it's not believable. I don't right. agree. Uh, but basically he, he, so obviously she'd only died recently. So they were obviously sad and thinking about her a lot. Yeah. And one night, um, something like woke him up and he, bear in mind, he has good eyes. He doesn't wear glasses. So it's yeah. not, it's not that in case that's a kind of idea, but he woke up, uh, he woke up in bed and he, and he looked up and when he looked to the corner of the room, he could see her standing there looking at him. Now, uh, that <laughs> is, that is the one that you can debate. Maybe he was still asleep. Yeah. Maybe yeah, he's yeah. just, his brain is playing tricks Bit on him. Haze, yeah. But still, I have never, ever, ever seen a ghost in my entire life. So, yeah. I thought that was quite quite creepy, even though it could be weird. just a dream. But it is yeah. it is not that uncommon for you to dream of waking up or being in. Your I, I, th room, I think so. the mind's a very powerful thing, though. Like, like I, I'm not saying yeah. I don't believe it, but often, like when you lose someone like that, you 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 see what you sort of want to see, don't you? I, I, I don't say I don't I, believe it still, but yeah. no, I no, I actually don't. I I don't think he actually 
was a, yeah. I think he was he could have asleep. still been asleep and then and he thought yeah, he was a bit of like, even he yeah. wasn't even you know he he wasn't telling us oh you need to believe in ghosts yeah, yeah, he, he, he's just... not like that he actually doesn't really believe uh, but he he just said to us like I woke up and bear in mind this same family the house they live in I have heard stories of creepy things happening to them for bro like you, need, you, need to get this, you need to get these on the podcast man <laughs> I mean, it, sick one, bro. just just like crazy things like um like all the windows are closed it's like winter time no one's in the house except one person um and all of a sudden they'll just start being a tapping in the bathroom and they'll go mm-hmm. down there and the you know like the light switches that hang it'll be dangling and it will be flicking against the wall backwards and forwards as if someone has just pulled the light cha- the, 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 the the like the light uh, chain or whatever you want to call it because yeah. those things don't blow in the wind unless there is a strong yeah. wind and the windows are all open so i'm mm. talking no wind and this thing is moving on its own backwards and forwards strong enough to make a tapping sound against the wall yeah um and that happened more than once that wasn't just a single time that kind of thing happened um yeah they they had a lot of stories like that where like my, my cousin she used to have dolls and she uh claimed whether it's true or not i don't know she claimed that uh one day she woke up and one of the dolls had changed direction and was staring at her from the top of a Get the fuck out of there, man. Oh, so that's my shit, of, bro. Yeah, oh. I know. Like, there was there were some things like that where where they've had some really creepy stories. It's not me though, so I can't say it's hundred percent true. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I got one more, which is not that good, but it is kind of good. So when my uncle died, I think it was. I think it was actually the day or... Yeah, I think it was the day. Really creepy. I woke up and for some reason, I don't know why, I had it... When I first woke up, that was the first thing that went to my mind. And I didn't know, bear in mind this. I had oh, no idea. Sure, yeah. First thing that happened when I woke up, I thought about him. Bear in mind, I didn't really even know him. Like I knew him well, but I didn't see him often. Yeah. And it was so weird. It was like... I just woke up. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I just, like, it just was in my mind. It's really weird. That's not the kind of thing you'd think of. Hmm. And then I found out that he that he died, and my mum, when she was in our house, um, so I think she was uh, she was she she'd found out earlier on, and all of a sudden, she walked into our kitchen or something, and all of a sudden, the whole kitchen smelt of his house. The whole, all of a sudden, she could just smell. Cause you know, everyone has yeah, their unique scent, kind of smell. Yeah, you got yeah. their house has a smell, and they have fucking. I'm not saying he's stuck, he's stuck like a fucking. Exactly, <laughs> no, but obviously, like, yeah, yeah. You know, everyone has a smell. Every, but, everyone has their own scent for the house. Yeah, yeah it's I, like, I that, like that, that kind of old person y smell. Uh, so she she could smell this like really strongly in the room and could smell it for like, I don't know how long, but it wasn't a very long time. And then all of a sudden, it was just kind of just gone. And that was like the the day that he, and that was that was quite creepy. I didn't smell it, so again, I, it's hard for me to yeah. to judge. But I did get that really weird kind of yeah. feeling when I woke up. It's like I, I, I had that was a thing. I had fucking um, when my granddad died. Like I was, he basically was a uh, he had like he had cancer, pneumonia. He it was like yeah, he was, it was pretty much like you knew that it was going to be over soon, right? But like, I was thinking about it all week, like thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, one day I'm going to come home, and I was like, I'll know. Like, and it got to the Friday, got off the bus, and like it, like I don't know, it's like your stomach just drops. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Like, yeah. and then like, I was kind of, I was like walking up to the door, like, and I, like you kind, I kind of like knew in my head before I even got told. It was, it was weird, but like, as like. I, th- I think, like, in your story, cry, you said something to your parents before it happened, but... Yeah, I... I yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, because I told you this, didn't I? I actually asked them. That was yeah. that was what was really Fuck creepy. Because really. they seemed a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, they seemed a little bit off. And I actually asked them. Bear in mind, he wasn't actually unhealthy either. He he, uh, yeah. he was actually... Well, uh, should I say that? He, he was diabetic, but he wasn't, like... He, he didn't healthy, wasn't old really, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't actually die naturally as you do know, I think. Uh, but yeah. he's not, he was, you know, he was healthy. So it, it, it's just a bit weird. Yeah, like yeah. it was weird to ask that. that and that I, I actually, I yeah, have a similar story to that. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same. It's with, uh, with Jess again. 
So we, we were actually on a night out and it, we had a really late night out this night out. I think it was about four in the morning. And Je- Jess just turned around to me before we went to bed and said, I've got a really bad feeling all of a sudden. So we just kind of brushed it off. And then the day after, she woke up and found out that at four o'clock in the morning, that I, that was when a mum passed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So no, I actually, I actually, I actually, wait, no, no, no. So I, it, it's, so just, it's, yeah, it's just, I, I do think you definitely get, I think, I feel, I feel like humans in some way do have a big connection like that. It's weird, it's odd, but there's just, yeah, mm. yeah you're like, you're, like you're, you're all one mate. Kind of yeah, it's yeah. literally a simulation. I'm telling you, right? I, <laughs> it this, is, this, is, it is, this is this isn't my story. This is this is my mum's story, right? And it, it's the weirdest story. Nothing to do with ghosts, I don't think. Well, it could have been. Who knows? But so back when I lived, I don't think I was even alive at this point, right? And basically, parents just gone to sleep, right? My dad wakes like like just gets w- woken up my, by my mum shouting, right? And my mum's just like, the car's moving. I'm like, 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 this, like my dad's like, what the fuck? Why are you waking me up? <laughs> like, and, uh, like, my mum's just like, the car's moving, the car's moving. Someone's moving the car, someone's moving the car. And uh, my dad's like, don't be fucking, don't be stupid, don't be stupid, just go back to bed. Don't be, just don't be stupid, go back to bed. And they woke up, like, in the morning to go to, like, work or something. And the car had moved down the street. Like, I, 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 I don't what? understand how that happened. Like, what? It's, yeah, again, not my story. Are you sure uh, she didn't just go so, and pull the handbrake up on the slide or something? <laughs> she was just yeah, telling yeah, you what exactly. she just done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who, who knows? Yeah, yeah. It's probably, probably, a failed, it's probably like a spot. failed fucking car. Probably like a failed car thief. And they were like, they were like too fucking stupid to like drive. <laughs> so they started driving down the road. And they were like, you yeah, know what? Yeah. I can't do this. I need a different fucking career. And they just got out and run away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a weird one. <laughs> Locked, locked it up, close to the doors. Was like, you know what? You can have your car. <laughs> nah, I can't we'll, do shit. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> that yeah. is pretty mad, though, to be fair, man. Like, I don't know. It, it, it's got me. You think, like, there's no scientific explanation you could come up with for something like the median or something like all these people or yourselves knowing yeah. that someone's passed away. There's no, there's no explanation that can. So, so what the fuck is it? Is my question, man. <laughs> like, uh, oh, no, humans it's... are definitely on some next level, different, different, different radio wave or some shit, man. I don't know. It's it's just weird. Uh, it's yeah. just weird. You know, I have thing, a question. Like... Do do I have a view? Okay. Uh, do you know what? This is this is gonna sound so stupid. Do you know what a fairy is? It's not an actual fairy, obviously. But have you heard of like little fairy things that are like? They float in the wind. They like, they, yeah, they, they yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're um, they're a type of plant, aren't they? they yeah, they, like, they, uh, they look like little bits of fluff. Yeah, fluff. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen seen them, but there's some kind of story somewhere that they are kind of seen to be like spirits, which. Which I've, I've, I've heard that, like, that, that of like you know people yeah. who die and then they kind of get released or whatever yeah. and it was so creepy because I never believed it and one day I was downstairs nowhere near the back door or anything and all of a sudden one of them just lands on me so the back door was open obviously but I was like wait what the fuck this thing it's landed on me so I'm like I was kind of making a joke out of it actually um and I picked this thing up and and I'm like putting it in my hand and. I was joking. My sister was there. I was like, oh, it's a ghost. And I said to her, I'm going to throw it up and I'm going to ask it a question. And I said to her, I said to her, okay. And I threw it up and I went, hey, look, if you're a ghost, land on me. So I threw it up. And of course, my lucky yeah. actually does land on me. I'm like, oh, that's creepy. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, if you're a ghost, land on Ella, which is my sister. So I throw it up. And it, and it lands on and I was and I was like, you know what? This is actually starting to be a little bit creepy. So then I threw it up again, and then I moved away from. It. So I like I like I moved backwards, and this thing fucking follows me, <laughs> and it's just coming towards me. I'm like, oh no, Christ no, no, is no. running the fuck away, man! This is like, this little no, fairy no. chasing after him. I know this little, and it fucking followed me. And I was like, no, I can't do this. Jesus, man! Uh, <laughs> if, if it makes you feel better, eventually, I'm pretty sure I was like. If you're real, land on me again, and I'm pretty sure it didn't. So that that right, made okay, me a bit okay. more just, happy. Just to confirm it, yeah. <laughs> oh, I looked after it. I put it on my desk, and I was like, you know what? This is a ghost. 
make me rich. So I kind of <laughs> put it on my, on my desk. I'm like, you know, oh, make me rich, bro. <laughs> speak to the man in the sky, make me rich. If Thanks. you are a spirit, make me pennies. <laughs> Yeah, it disappeared. I actually, it just one day. He's got making your peas, bro. He's got making your money for you. I know. He's got to do it he's somehow, out. bro. He's, he's, he's wheeling and dealing. He is, man. He's on the street corner. And dealing, bro. Yeah. Street corner in heaven. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Fucking hell, man. Oh, I've seen a couple of people mention in chat, and I think it's a good segue onto our next part of the ghost topic, and that is um, we'll go on to the possession and demons part, because I guess that links quite well. Do we believe that possession is is something that can happen? Do you think you can get possessed by another entity, by a different spirit to your own? Do we... I've I've no clue. I've like like there's there's a lot of people like there's a lot of things to say that it is true. But the one thing that I would never want to be like one job I never want to have is is like an exorcist. Yeah, he, fuck he, that. <laughs> not 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 because not because it's like a weird job to have. But like imagine you saw something and like you then knew that shit like that does happen you, you can't explain yeah, it yeah, like, it imagine, does, does imagine you saw someone's that... head turn 360 degrees and you're just like you know what i mean like like it would yeah fuck you yeah up for yeah life, yeah that's shit. not really something you can just fucking get over that's not that's not just a little yeah. ghost chilling is it man that's like that's watching someone mm. become literally like something you're in, else you're in like a possessed house and you, you like it's all the paintings for like you know what i mean like that that sort of shit if you if you saw that shit happen in person like Oh wait, shit! You know what? Let's let's, let's segue back. Let's segue back real quick. <laughs> I was excited. I, I, I was possessed once. falling off the wall. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, was, that was another one that uh, I've told Cry before. Um, go on, go on. There was a time. Uh, I think I was in high school or some shit, or, or secondary school, as you guys might call it. Uh, and I was sat here playing Rocket League like an absolute chad, uh, and my brother was awake in his room playing like For Honor or some shit like that. And my dad again, yeah, again, doesn't believe in ghosts at all. Doesn't believe in ghosts. Okay. And uh, I'm just sat there and he comes into my room, like proper angry dad style and goes, right, what are you making all that banging about? What are you, we're trying to get to bed. What are you making? What are you banging about at? Right. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm just listening to music. Right. So he goes downstairs and I hear him like, what are you bringing about to? <laughs> to my brother yeah you know what i mean like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, muffled, the, the angry dad voice you know what i mean <laughs> yeah 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 and yeah my brother like i hear him like <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying like that, that sort of thing it's like, like, conver- like, like conversation it's like like he clearly clearly like he, he like he, he didn't know what was going on like just from the sound of his voice just, you know what i'm saying <laughs> But my dad then goes downstairs because obviously then dad's mode he's like right intruder let's get the baseball bat right come on fucking scrap this guy downstairs and uh obviously dad mode thinks he's an intruder he walks downstairs and there's four paintings that are all just lying on the floor right four oh, and the heavy paintings you know what, I could actually go and get these paint these uh thing. yeah I'm, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go do it no I'm gonna go do it <laughs> Oh, no, no. This, is, this is more one for the Twitch listeners gonna, as opposed to I'm gonna the... show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So Mac has gone get bit. Mac has gone to get a painting. So this is not a good idea. We're not gonna see him come back. Okay, if his chair starts moving while we're watching, yeah, I'm, that, I'm that, that white that so, yeah. has been wobbling for a little bit too long for my liking, lads. Yeah, if that if that chair mm. moves an inch. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving the call. I'm going to tell my PC and fuck bro, it. I'm going to go out to just go much, get a Imagine that Modern Warfare poster just flings off the wall now, bro. I'd be, I'd be ending this call and cancelling the podcast for the foreseeable future. To be bro. fair, if the Modern Warfare poster fell off and then he put up like maybe a, a Battlefield poster, then I'd be like, fuck <laughs> you, you know? He's a good, good ghost. But... Ghost has got taste. <laughs> maybe if it was a FIFA poster and they replaced it with Modern Warfare, that would be better, Yeah, that, but, that'd be yeah. acceptable. That'd be acceptable. Modern Warfare 2, yeah. got to give it credit where it's due, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, not a bad one. If it was like, you know, maybe Black <laughs> Ops 3 or like something like that, then I'd be like, yeah. Right. Here he is. Here he is. The prop. Oh, man. Okay, so. I have some reasons yeah, yeah, why I think right, okay, this is okay. a very weird one. So you didn't okay. men- you didn't mention it was a canvas, Maka. That makes it different. That's not a picture. Okay, canvas. No, in a, in a good way. In a good way. Canvases are heavier than pictures. Okay. Yeah, right. So <clears> it's a canvas, right? Canvas. There are four of these, okay? All on the wall, nailed, <laughs> like... Fucking hell, just ran upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> basically, the nails in the wall, hanging off the nails, and the nails are like at a slant as well, right? Right, right. They're, they're, not, they're not heavy, but they're not, 
They're not light they're not But they definitely either. don't just fall off on their own. And the clip doesn't no, no, just no, no, go, no. doesn't like just come off the nail on its own <laughs> four times in anymore. a row. <clears throat> no, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> like, li- literally, like, obviously they haven't fallen off the wall before. The one thing that I think is just a bit weird, the, the one thing that makes this weird, is if you look at the back, there is like an indent. Yeah, yeah. That the nails go in. Like, how is it going to fall out of that? They, all of them that have a, a nail that, that in would that. Take, that would take genuine force to get that. That would take like, you would take like a bit of pulling off for that mm. to fall. And, and you're, and you're telling me that all, all fell off at exactly the same time. Like, Fuck off. <laughs> No, no. So I don't, I don't know. He's weird. No, 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 no. I can't believe you're touching that. You, you're actually <laughs> hey, bro, fucking go get, go get holy water on that shit, bro. Have, have yeah. you seen Annabelle comes home? You are, <laughs> you are playing. You are playing with the devil. He's playing what with fucking you? playing with fire, man. Is what he's doing. The Lord will strike yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a bit of a weird one. It's like, it seems to always happen to my dad. Like, it's, it's weird because he's the one guy. Who just doesn't believe in ghosts whatsoever? Like my, my he's, brother, he's a skeptic of you all. Yeah. My mum's kind of more like actually does believe in ghosts. Right, right, right. right. My, I, I was always like more like my dad. Like, nah, I, I don't really believe in ghosts. Like now, now I kind of think there's got to be like something. Like, how does all this shit happen? But uh, then my brother was more like he believes in ghosts as well. Right. But, some people don't believe in them because yeah. they uh, they think it makes them like weak. They're like, oh, I want to yeah. be hard, so I don't want to believe in ghosts. There's so many yeah, people like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. I, know, yeah. I know people like that. They're like, oh, I don't believe in ghosts. They're not fucking scary. They're not gonna, you know, well, I don't. I didn't say they were scary, but I just want to believe in them. You know, it's like it's the fear of the unknown, isn't it? It's not really the fear of the fact that you know they're gonna fucking eat you alive or something. It's just you don't you don't know what they're gonna do. That's the, that's the point, and that's why they're yeah. Because I mean, it's like. If you've got a ghost of your family member, then yeah, sure, I don't expect them to come along and stab me to death in my sleep. Obviously, it's my <laughs> family member. It, it depends, member, it depends so. who your family is, to be honest, man. Like, yeah. yeah, true. Some of them probably hate me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Well. Well, well, well. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm we, sorry, I'm, I'm just going to point, I'm just what gonna point out what Jack actually said in the chat. Is that a world's best dad mug cry? <laughs> yeah, it is a world's best dad It is, actually, yeah. <laughs> I have news for you guys. Cry, have you got some news for us, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I was gonna leave it, bro. But then I noticed it myself, and I was like, "No, nah, I gotta pull this up live." <laughs> what can you do? Quick change of topic, but cries now a father. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, sometimes mm. you go to Amsterdam, and you know, you I now have a Dutch kid. So fair enough, man. <laughs> Each of her own. Oh, mm. so I think yeah. we've confirmed here that that we're all we're all strong believers in in at least some form of spirits after we die. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And I, per- I personally believe that Mac has got some angry poltergeist of a ghost living in his house. I know. I, it, 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 I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing that. I'm throwing okay. that canvas on my, on my bed over there. There's, a, di- there's a difference for... between like my situation where it's just some lights flickering on and off and something pulling every fucking picture off your living room. There's, there's, it's gonna be like there's, 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 this. is gonna make the the stream and podcast viral. That, that canvas is gonna float up and it, it'll be clipped in the background. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You'll watch, but you'll watch, but you'll be editing. Do you know what? I hope so. <laughs> we will that, all yeah. become very rich. Yeah, yeah bro. That, <laughs> if that if that wouldn't skyrocket the podcast popularity into oblivion, uh, yeah. then I, I don't know what the fuck would. Man. Yeah, then we should just sort of quit. Fuck. If that wouldn't, then we should just quit. <laughs> Maybe we should fake a ghost, a ghost, some ghost footage on the stream, bro, to get to get the clout. Let's mm. just get Mac as, yeah. as as me and Cry were discussing when you went. Mac and just get that Modern Warfare poster to fly off the wall real quick or something. Oh no, my, yeah, this is <laughs> that that. Yeah. <clears throat> if I ever see something in your room move on its own when you're not there, I will have to assume it's you because <laughs> if I believe anything else, I will I won't be able to ever like look at your yeah. camera again. It will just creep me out. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. Yeah, yeah, understandable. Right, well, we've... Thing... go on, go on, carry on. Uh, that, that is one <laughs> thing that like I, I feel like. Have you ever felt like just like setting your camera to record a shit mm, ton of talent mm. and then just watch? Obviously, you can't watch it all back, but like. Like the amount of times I go downstairs, right, and I think like I'll leave this webcam on, right, say webcam phone on, my phone on webcam mode or whatever, right, and I'll I'll leave it on, and I'll be like, right, and like as I'm going downstairs, I'm thinking like, what if my phone sees something? I'll, I'll never see it. My phone's just seen something that's crazy, and I'll never uh, see it. Do you like, know what? I, I've just had a thought like, about. I was and sick then of you're it. wishing you yeah. were recording, like. I've just had a thought about sticking it be to do like a podcast where Maka sets up in like his living room and we start it at like midnight. All lights off, just a camera. Oh, right, we could do. That'd actually be a. 
Us. That is so unfun for Maka. Maka will have Oh, yeah. Ma- no, it'd be hell for Maka. Maka would hate it, but it'd be good for us. <laughs> that is true. It'd be good for content. <laughs> Mate, good for content. So, you, you just remi- reminded me of another one, right? So, oh, go on, go on. I, I was asleep on this time, so this isn't even my story. All right. So, but we had some family friends from Leeds come down, right? And uh, this this was like this was like one of the first ever things that happened in this house that, that made us like, what the fuck? <laughs> and, uh, I, we, we were asleep, me and my brother were asleep. I think it was like 10 o'clock at night or 11. Parents on the drink. So who knows? Maybe they were just seeing things. But uh, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> too much uh, to keep. Too, well, that goes any validity in this alcohol, story, too, <laughs> too much alcohol. But uh, <laughs> basically, well, well, seeing and hearing things. But anyway, so ba- basically, we're all sat there just having a conversation. And uh, it's, I don't, I don't think the wind could do this because the door that it did it to was like it's, it's a bit of a hard door to close it's like one of them ones you actually have Thick to properly like, yeah yeah it. yeah Proper our dog's guy. lying next to the door and uh this door it's like just like it's it's not fully open it's only like slightly open so it could have been like a gust of air or something like that but even even then like the door stands closed and then our dog yelps and uh like we, i only got told the story in the morning so i had no clue and like that, that was like the first ever thing that happened uh, in my house, which was just a bit weird. I feel, I feel like dogs are onto a different sort of level to us when it comes to stuff yeah. like that. Like de- dogs and cats, personally, I feel like they can definitely sense something that mm. we can't, or oh, maybe we can't sense it as well as yeah. they do, because they always seem to be like the first one. Well, so- one, one thing that does creep me out is when your dog starts like growling at something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've had that a few times. Like it's not happened much, but like that happened recently, like a few weeks ago. My dog was just growling, and like I was near it as well, like. Sometimes your dog will just start barking at like something they've heard outside. But like, like, like literally the, the time this happened, like I was literally sat next to my dog stroking it. He just looks down like the the hallway and starts growling. And then Fuck eventually, off. I'd be gone. Ev- no. Eventually, it's like it's it's like it's like it looks at something, right? But then it was weird because like in in an instant, it was looking around, like not looking at anything, like but. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, Michael, we've got to set some cameras up around your house or some shit, bro. I know. It's uh, your house is This fun. just sounds like a regular <laughs> occurrence, bro. We've got, we, we surely it's, we could it's catch It's not even something. that regular. That's the thing. Like, I've been living here eight years now, right? And That's a lot more ghost experiences not... in eight years than anyone else that I've, I've ever known. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, pretty, uh, yeah. that's some pretty juicy shit, man. That's some pretty juicy I... shit. I actually have a really good one, similar to Mac's one. Um, so I don't actually have a dog. Uh, but my my nan come around with her dog, um, and we were in the garden. And I know the garden is like a weird place. It was middle of the day, so it's, it kind of actually. You know what? Let's just yeah. set, set the scene for a scarier story. Go on, go on, go on. It Close was up. late at night, and we were out in the garden. There was only two of us, just me, my nan, and her dog. Don't ask why the fuck, but you know, <laughs> my nan comes around at twelve o'clock at night to sit in the garden with her dog. Who doesn't? Um, so all of a sudden, the dog just stares at the end of the garden where we have we, so we have like a path that runs up one side of the garden so you don't have to walk across the, the grass yeah, yeah, just yeah. in case it gets muddy so we got the path and the dog just stares at one at the end of the garden at the path and starts barking the dog's a fucking idiot so I thought <laughs> okay he's just an idiot <laughs> all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden the dog just follow like it, it it looks like this and follows its head all the way up the path all the way all the way up to us and then it just stares and this thi- and it stops right like in line with all of us and then just stares up and goes rah, 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 right and I, I i was we were watching and we shit ourselves because it literally this dog followed the whole way. This is quite an old dog as well. So like, <laughs> oh, bro, maybe the dog just seen... like footsteps next to you as it's doing oh. that. Bro. Oh, get out of it, but get out of it. That's yeah, it's seeing footprints on the path the next yeah, day. Yeah, I would. Oh. I'll, I'll be, I would move. I would move out. I'd rather be homeless. I'll <laughs> move sure out. I'll be homeless. Burn the house down. Burn yourself yeah. down. Get out of there, but fuck it all. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, done, mm. nah, nah. but it, it was, that that was probably one of the more creepy things. Well, it doesn't sound creepy, but that is creepy because you can't. Yeah. Oh, well, I know the dog. The, the, the dog isn't even trained to fucking shit in the garden, let alone <laughs> bark on, on point without being it, it, it's, it's not, He's not a valid actor, is what you're saying, yeah. Kai. <laughs> no, no. The, I mean, the dog is not a paid actor, lads, can't confirm. 
<clears throat> no, the only explanation is that the dog might actually have, or actually it's dead now, but might have had mental health <laughs> things. I mean, who's to say dogs can't see things? You know, maybe she had some magic mushrooms in our garden or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. crying, man. The way you said the dog was dead and then Mac was like, doo doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> poor dog, bro. Poor dog. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm crying, bro. I'm actually crying. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. no. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Rest, I'm sure it was a beautiful dog, man. Sure uh, no, it wasn't. It was short and fat. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically that that Jesus. was the story of the of the dog who's now dead. Maybe that's why <laughs> she that's is why dead. dead I was about to say he, but it's she. Maybe that's Just why she's dead. She's sort of down by the evil demon. <laughs> yes, she has been. Yeah. She has been smited. Smite me, all smitey smite. Satan did not want a dog telling stories of seeing him walking down our path. It's you, next, chose our cry, path you, 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 you cry. You told the same story, bro. It's you next one. Yeah. Oh fuck! If, if I <laughs> see, I wouldn't look at. See, this is the thing. I wouldn't look at my window. See, I, although I'm joking about this, I now would not look out my window down at that path for the rest of the night because I know. <laughs> yeah. And nothing's gonna be there, but I won't do it anyway because the, the, if there the, was, the dog killers would... there, bro. The dog killers there. Oh uh, no! Nah, you know that's always been like a reoccurring fear. Like I remember when I was like, I think I must have been like. 11 or 12 and I had this horrible nightmare that I went downstairs into my kitchen and out of the patio doors I could just see like a white face staring back at me and ever since oh, that, what? it's just been like it's just been like such a massive fear and, and this house that I live in now is like got the whole back wall is glass so you can just see outside of it yeah. and bro I just shit myself whenever it's dark out there and I think like if, if, oh. I, if I look out the window and something's looking back at me it's just like the worst fear you're gonna move out yeah, yeah I'll, bro I'll move I mean... out of the fucking country bro you mad I would yeah. be out of there, bro. I would be out of there. What's your opinion on um on so not possession? I know we were on possession, mm. but um well kind of, kind of possession. What well, on on kids specifically because you don't really give adults seeing people that aren't there because I I I am actually someone who used to have an imaginary friend. Don't ask. It used to creep my uncle out. I don't know what your opinion on that is. I used to actually, like, to the point where I would literally say to my mum, give, like, okay, I've got my dinner, but where's dinner for, I, can't, I think his name was Fred, actually. It's such a weird right, name. Right. Which is Damn. weird. Yeah, I used yeah. to say to her, like, where's, where's dinner for Fred? And, it, and I don't remember him now, obviously, because it was when I was, like, a little kid, but my uncle used to shit himself because I would say things as if there really was someone actually there. <laughs> so, what's your opinion on that? I feel his like... uncle just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so, I think it might be another case of like, as a kid, I feel like you're inclined to see what you want to see again. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you think yeah, in your head yeah. there's someone nah, there, like you're gonna tell people it's fucking nah, someone. But I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's always the case. I don't think that's always. There's the a case. proper weird one that made. I don't know if it made the news or it, it definitely made. It definitely made a TV show, right? Because I saw it on TV. That was basically. Uh, a kid who he was watching TV. I think he must have been like four or six or some shit. He was a proper young kid, right? And uh, like they're watching TV, and it's about the I think the Titanic. It was. It was about a boat, anyway. I don't remember what boat it was. And uh, just film about boat. <laughs> a map. A map about. It was a documentary, and a map basically came up uh, showing like the engine room of this boat, right? Right. And this kid, like. I like could barely talk apparently at the time, like be not barely talk, but couldn't talk well, right? right. And the kid just like just instantly just says the engine wasn't there or something like the fuel something wasn't oh, there. It was it out. was there. He's creepy. Yeah, and, fuck like, out, man. and then there was like an investigation. Like I don't know if it was like recently after or a few I, years. I think later, I remember hearing about this, you know. But then it, it literally was exactly where the kid said it. Said oh, it was like bro. even even like. Like, that shit's weird. Like, See, that, 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 be... that's, that's like second life, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. you're dying in your yeah. soul. Yeah, yeah. Resurrection, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't think that's... It's one of them, isn't it? I don't... There's not really any way to, again, scientifically explain how that could happen, but nah, yeah. it has happened. So yeah, and also... <laughs> you think, like, okay, so how... 
how many years have humans been around? I mean, even from like prehistoric times, like late the late prehistoric times, we say that, or not prehistoric, but well, actually, yeah, cavemen. You know, cavemen and fucking they weren't really they were humans, but they weren't really humans, were they? They were like in yeah. between apes and yeah, humans. Yeah. You know, they had they had like gigantic heads with tiny brains and stuff. So, <laughs> like, same, bro. You think all the of me, bro. <laughs> thousands of years that humans have been alive and the billions of people that have died in those times do you really believe that a kid has come back and been resurrected and just happens to be within the same few hundred years even i mean it's like how you know the fucking chances of that of that they've died and come back yeah. And, and 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 that that they were a person who was alive within those i mean that's so what crazy. you're saying is like so you, well, look, are you saying you don't believe it or like not really because if, if you resurrected no, maybe, yeah. why has no one ever su- suddenly been like oh yeah i remember seeing some weird fucking gigantic creature and uh, no one has ever seen this before because sure like if th- th- back in the times when people were fucking cavemen do, uh, do those people just not exist do they not <laughs> get plot, resurrected plot, no, it doesn't make sense twist. what happens if every time you have deja vu that's you remember in a past life i that hey. that is creepy but hey. then even then it's like a past life when you had like a computer and like, yeah. I mean, it's hard to believe that you'd get resurrected yeah, in the so. same, like in the same hundred years or same well, thousand maybe, years. Maybe it's not a case of everyone gets resurrected though. Maybe it's a case of just the same sort of percentage of someone having a ghost in their house. I don't know. I don't know. I just like the story <laughs> Maka told that. How would you explain that then, Cry? If, if, if that, how would you explain okay, if that, that one? Yeah, do you I'll know what be I mean? Honest, it's just, it's just, so that one I would, I ever put that down to uh, just literally the most unbelievable, stupid coincidence that a kid was like, yeah, "Oh no, you know, it's not there; it's there." Because some possible. kids probably would Definitely do that. Possible. Or because I've heard, I've heard a similar one to that where a kid you probably heard it is uh, he told his family about this house where his family used to live, and he explained to them where it was. I think it was like the Isle of Man or something. It was some, some way really off the beaten track. It's like it explained about this house. And it was on the coast. And there was a lighthouse, and it was here. And there was animals on a farm. And he explained like how to get there and all shit like that. And he was like five, and they actually went there, and it was real. But then the family could just be making up that yeah, shit. Yeah, there's there's always fake. There's always, yeah, yeah. You've always there's got to take that. into consideration. It could just be straight bullshit. It could just be fake. And yeah, yeah that, that's something you unless can't I had them, if I, Unless I literally had them at gunpoint and was like. Is it fucking true or is it false? They have a lie detector <laughs> with a gun to the head. I would not believe them because it's oh. it's like so. That's such an easy lie to make. Anyone could say that. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. You're not wrong. You know. Yeah. I mean, I could say that. I could say that now. I could say, oh, I just <laughs> saw the fucking ghost of Princess Diana walk through the front door. I mean, you, yeah. if you want to believe it, go ahead. Go. <laughs> kind of if you want. Fuck it out, one. Oh. Right, well, boys, we are. We've taken this. 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 This one segment has taken us an hour and five yeah, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, though, man. That, that, that was, was worth it. A lot more stories than I fucking um, anticipated. There. Yeah. We yeah, didn't we, discuss. I probably demons. got even more. We didn't. Just, yeah. No. There's no time. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe. Maybe we'll have to have a couple more parts of this ghosts, and we'll have to get yeah. some people from the chat to give their stories to give us and stuff like that. And that yes. could be uh, could be pretty fucking. Cool. Or maybe go online. Maybe maybe go online. Do yeah. Some read some popular some... ones. Some really popular ones, yeah. Yeah, I like Fire. it though. I like it. If you guys want to see more ghost stuff, do let us know and we'll be sure to include that in the future. Maybe turn some of you non believers into um, maybe just not being able to quite answer why something happened. But yeah, yeah, the, exactly. uh, the next section we are going to go into is crypto. And we know our, our, voice. Our, our boy Mr. Mac has been, uh, been, doing his, been doing his work this week, doing my research. getting his notes. Who's <clears> banging? <throat> oh, ding dong. It's the ghost. Cry, it's the ghost, man. The dog killer's come oh, to get you, bro. It's the ghost. The dog oh killer's come God. to get you, bro. Oh. I should have actually put that on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I uh, know. I'd have been, 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 I'd have
Uh, the, the past two weeks, past two weeks, roughly, what, yeah. What are, we, what are we saying on the crypto market this time, good sir? It's been huge. It's been great. It's been, it's been just good. It's just been good. All Pretty much all up. Right, so... Uh, uh, Bitcoin as itself, it, it just hasn't, it wasn't doing great. It wasn't doing great, really, to be honest. Not it was, uh, basically, we had 69k exactly. Some meme artists done that, you know. That, that's, <laughs> that, that's the highest Bitcoin Figures. ever been. Exactly, exactly 69k. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some, some joke has done that. Like, well, anyway. Uh, so, went, went from there down to 32k, which. Yeah, that's not good. That's that's more than fifty percent lost. So mm -hmm. if if you bought at the top, oh, oh no, bro, right? What are you doing? You've just <laughs> lost all your money. Um, yeah, past past week it's been all right. So thirty two k past two weeks. I mean, uh, went from thirty two k to forty five and a half k, which in two weeks is a lot. That's a big jump, but uh, it might it might be a little bit longer than two weeks. But we're at four. But I think 43 and a half K right now. Which, There's an uh, increase though. There's an increase. It's all right. Yeah. We've got like, <laughs> there's been a few good events. Um, and I, th I think that, well, it's like, you can see the price literally shows that the good events like outweigh the bad events. So like, there's been a, I think there's been like one, I I could, I could say like one bad event that's, that's happened. One, one, one thing that's negatively affected crypto, which... I don't know why. Like, maybe I'm a bit stupid. Maybe I, I <laughs> haven't clocked why. But I don't know why it negatively affected Bitcoin. But uh, anyway, having said that, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get into my standout cryptos for the week, right? So I made I made a trade about how long ago was it? When, when did I tell you that I was making a trade, Ben? I, I said, like, right, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy. No, no, it was like, a, I think about a week, a week and a half ago. It was just after the first pod. Nah, it, was, it was longer than that. Was it? was it? longer than that. Was it? It was, you remember when I asked you, like, I, I was like. Oh, oh yeah. Was, I, think that was, I think that was probably about two months ago now, to be honest. It's yeah, been, right. It's been so a fair it's while. Back then, I bought two currencies. Then as Bitcoin went down, I bought more. And I like kind of like dollar cost average shit. Like, I tried to pinpoint the bottom failed and I could have made lots of money and I didn't. Like I, I'm just breaking even, mm. but uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not breaking even. I'm, I'm up, but I'm breaking even to where I was up before. But anyway, so I bought a currency called Tezos, and at the time, uh, I'd, I'd literally just seen it on it. Put like they're partnered with Red Bull Racing, like as in the F1 team, right? I'm done. And I saw it on one of their cars, so I did a bit of research, <clears throat> and uh, they do a lot to do with NFTs. Right, right. It's basically. Imagine like an iPhone operating system, right? That automatically upgrades without having to be upgraded by anyone, right? That that's technically what Tezos is. So like it's it's like a technology which like it evolves itself. So I, right. I don't know how it does it, but it does. So like yeah, it, it will never go out of fashion because it will it will just keep upgrading itself, right? Uh, literally yesterday, uh, they partnered. With Man U, oh, Man U, fuck what? Which uh, which Mac is... was crying with happiness when he saw that. <laughs> oh man, I was because <laughs> it it got it got to like I think four dollars sixty, right? At one what point. what did you buy uh, up? What did you buy up? Three dollars eighty, right? Which okay, is, it's all right. That's not too bad, but uh, at the same time, like they like it could go up a lot more. Like I, I think it's all time high somewhere around. Have a nine or twelve dollars. So, well, I mean, if they partnered with Man U, bro, you've got of... every single time Man U play a game yeah. or get get an advert, that's probably going to be going up. Yeah, I, <clears> I think uh, I think uh, Man U are doing it for NFTs. Like they're going to start selling N NFTs, but um, right, I'm yeah. not completely sure. It, it, if not, it's uh, it's just advertisement. And if it's yeah, advertisement, yeah, yeah. like like literally advertisement for like for like big. Like investors, they're gonna they're gonna think right advertisement that's gonna make people buy. Like for people who are just coming into crypto, like simply all that happens is they'll see a crypto, they'll be like right, I'm going on Binance or FTX or Crypto.com, and they'll see Tezos and they'll be like, oh damn, that looks like a cool cryptocurrency. It's trending, it's up ten percent or something like that. Right. And then they'll see it on the TV and they'll be like, oh damn, it's on the Man United kit. So then instantly they think they're smart in their head. They think, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Think they're into a niche. You know I mean? Think like, they're in the fountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They think, 
it's, it's not even like a niche. They, they just think, oh, if man, you, oh, it must be a sick cryptocurrency. If man, you, when really all it is is a partnership. It doesn't mean too much. Like it's it's a good partnership. It has, it to has have. a lot of validity to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, but yeah, like it's it's like advertisement as well. It's just advertisement. Yeah, like, of course, an advertisement. Of like unless it's bad advertisement, like something's gone wrong with a company and you're held to that. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's just gonna make the price like go up really. Uh but yeah, so Tezos, I think I think at the start of those two weeks was three dollars ten. So I was down on it. I was down on it. It was oh, very shit, sad. really. But uh yeah, it, it got to four dollars sixty, which is that's up thirty nine percent in two weeks, which that's that's a lot of money. That's a lot yeah, of money. yeah, of course, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's four dollars thirty now, which uh, is looking good. It's looking good. It's the right direction. Uh, uh, yeah. So that was, that's just like my personal pick. It's, it's in my portfolio. Like, uh, let me just quickly make a disclaimer as well. None of this is financial advice. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> right. Not nah, everyone go and invest every penny you've got into Tezos. Like nah, Marcus yeah. said it here. Marcus said it yeah, first. Uh, yeah, I just, just have to say that. You know, all the YouTubers say it. All, all crypto YouTubers, this is not financial advice. But yeah. I think, uh, cry, right, cry, so, I think you've got a bit out of focus there, bro. Yeah, I'll see how's. I think I <laughs> I don't think it can detect the pig mask, funnily enough. <laughs> wow, that's fucking rude. Just go like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, it's racist towards animals, man. That is, that is rude. I'll give you permission to take the mask off. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think it's uh... a. <laughs> oh, that is. Rest in peace, pig. <laughs> Rip piggy, man. It's so icing on the there, man. <sighs> That's nice. I like having that. Does the camera think Croy is a pig as well, man? He's not <laughs> it. There we go. There we go. He's <laughs> back. He's back. back. He's back. There we go. He's back. He's back. Right. There we go. I, I, have a, I have a question. I don't have the mask on. Go I have on. a question. Go for it. It is a quick question. So. I know I said about a pyramid scheme. Uh, that wasn't actually <laughs> what I meant oh. last time. Uh, but we want to talk about pyramid schemes. Uh, yeah. What if there was an insurance for crypto investors, a company which is like an insurance company for people who invest in crypto? So right. I'm trying to think how this how this would work because I'm just thinking it in my head. It might actually be completely just stupid and ridiculous, but. Um, Imagine, say you, okay, so you agree to a certain margin and obviously the insurance would cost you more for the lower margin. So if you're, so it's, yeah. okay, say a currency drops below 30%, so it's, it drops 30% in, a, in like a, a week or whatever. You set it to 30%. It then automatically the, the company who's insuring your crypto will pull out the remaining thirty percent you've you've like the last crypt the, the last bit you've got. Yeah. Um and then pay you back the the lost value. Now if the value was to go up <laughs> oh, then obviously right, right, right. it would be the other way see, around. See, so I, I feel like ideas on stream oh no someone's gonna steal I, it. No. I, see, no, I, feel, I think they just I think that's like that's essentially the same thing as doing insurance for entering the lottery. And I know that sounds weird, yeah, but yeah, I feel like is, I feel like yeah. I feel like the risk for loss is way too high compared it to the, like that. The insurance companies are, are probably just end up losing out on money because that few people would. actually succeed with it. Do you know what I mean? I feel that's like, that's, like yeah. yeah. If, if if trading was more successful, I think I think the stats are roughly eighty percent of people trading crypto lose money. That's so huge, Jesus. Then ten percent of those twenty left, roughly about ten percent of those only break even. So, so that's ten percent. Even maybe ten percent that succeed. With and it. fair enough, those ten percent of people, a lot of those ten percent of people are making a lot of money. Like it, yeah. it could, like it could make you a lot of money. But at the same time, that means like, the insurance company is taking like a ninety percent risk. Those ten percent of people. Yeah. What if though the insurance company? Obviously, if you do, if you're running that kind of business, then you would have to have experts. Because you, when yeah. you say eighty percent, we're including people who literally have no idea and yeah, yeah, exactly. what they're doing, and they waste their money. So you think like you've got a team of experts that know the market and they actually are yeah. good at it. They only will allow people to join the insurance policy if they're within a restriction of a certain but, amount. But of, why? 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 Although it's not a guarantee, it's like. 
but why would those people need insurance yeah, the if they were already good at it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if, if you were going for that niche market of the people that are, already, that are good at crypto, There's... then people are probably already good at crypto. Do you know what I mean? Do you, know, do yeah, you get that's... what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. That, that yeah. is the one thing. The, the one thing that would just... If an insurance company was in crypto, like it, it's completely written off because anyone who's actually good at crypto knows that you set a stop loss below your price. So that if yeah, it does they, drop they don't, to they a don't need the point, insurance. Yeah. Then mm. you don't lose all your money. Like, well, even then, like if you shouldn't lose all your money anyway with crypto, like you will lose a percentage that, like. It's a fair thought though. If someone did do that, depends. like. That, there is leverage trading. Yeah. Like leverage trading, you can lose all your money, which is like, it's like you're trading with money you haven't got, basically. But right. I guess there would have to be, I mean, I haven't, I didn't know you really think about it. I just wanted to say that's not a pyramid scheme because that was what I thought it was last time when it was in my brain. And then I realized my <laughs> brain wasn't that stupid. So I actually did think of a different idea. But yeah, I don't know. I, I would have to actually like, do the maths and think about the likelihood of winning, losing. I think, I think the only way, the only way that would work is if, the insurance company maybe delved into the people that might make money off of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then, then the yeah. risk's there for the, the person to benefit something from it as well as the yeah. investment company to benefit something from it if it does happen to go well. I think yeah. if you I think if you just go with a niche of the people that have already made it, like then people don't need insurance at that point because they know what they yeah. know what they're doing. Do you oh yeah, no, of course. Yeah, it, would yeah, to, yeah. it would have to be mostly for people who didn't really who needed help, who who, who needed who I guess was yeah. stupid because that's what insurance companies do. <laughs> they they take advantage of of accidents, don't yeah, they? That's you are right. the point are of, right. an insur- of an insurance company. So I'm not saying you're stupid if you have a car accident, but you're still un- you're unlucky or whatever you whatever happened. Yeah, but yeah, of course. I feel like it would depend on on the percentage. So you know when I said the, the 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 loss percentage. So say the 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 price of the the currency you had went down by 80%. The insurance company would literally go bust in in yeah like a week. yeah yeah. But yeah. if it was like 80%, maybe that would be different. If it was like to the point where once it goes down 80%, you get paid back that that yeah then, it, then at least the company but, are getting to profit off it yeah they're the not time. losing yeah, a yeah, crazy yeah. amount of money or even even if it was like 90 percent. but if it's 90 percent, you don't have to pay so much interest for what you make so say it goes Might up to something there cry <laughs> yeah see, Christ, uh, shut the fuck up man you're losing those millions yeah, yeah, right, cry, cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, need to, I need to stop talking about yeah, that. man write this down bro. <laughs> wait hang down. on hang on wait <laughs> trademark trademark Tra- it's, oh, called, yeah, yeah. it's called it's called the crypto insurance company trademark. Cr- cries Still crypto insurance <laughs> this is on a live stream i will sue cries crypto insurance it's coming cries crypto yeah coming, actually, coming soon, it's going to be, gonna be no called cry yeah it. Yeah, yeah, it's called cool. Cry, bro. Cool, bro. Trademark. <laughs> Fuck you. My Twitch account is, is Cry. They're not allowed to take that. Uh, so, yeah, <clears> this <throat> is on Twitch. More just trademark <laughs> the idea. If it's stolen, then I'm suing. So, yeah, thanks. Crypto with a K. Yeah. <laughs> If I get murdered now, maybe it's like Elon Musk. He's been watching yeah, the stream. Bro. He's like, he, was, yeah. he had that idea a month. <laughs> yeah, he's got a guy who comes around in his little ski mask with his fucking Barrett 50 cal, <laughs> shoots me through seven doors and yeah. kills me. Rip. <clears throat> so anything else, Maka? Anything else interesting for the, talk, for the talk, Talking about lawsuits. Lawsuits. <laughs> how's, that, how's that happened? Talking about lawsuits. Right? Ripple. Ripple are like, they're, they're basically uh, a currency that got into shit for like having unregistered securities and uh or at least allegedly having unregistered securities what and, do you mean uh, by that basically a security is like you know like um i might even be getting this wrong if i'm getting this wrong then oh no my <laughs> uni course is fucked finance at uni and i can't even get this right yeah but security <laughs> is like you know like equity in a business like it, it can be like that sort of stuff something that can like get you capital right. right got you and they had one apparently they had 1.3 billion dollars worth of unregistered securities right oh fuck and um basically the sec were are trying to uh, like get them done for this right and they got granted uh permission to explain fair notice defense i don't know when this was it, it was recently because it was uh so it was on I, 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 don't, I, don't have, I don't have a clue what that is Fil- film basically me. Yeah, again, if I'm getting this wrong, if I do law, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, you know, I'm fucked at uni. But, well, I'm um, testing you here for your, for your fucking yeah. for your uni um, work. <laughs> basically, fair notice defense, or I think it's it's also known as like other things, but it's like, say like, uh, 
I don't know. Like murder is clear. It's clear. Like say you've murdered someone, you've just killed them, and you've you've purposefully killed them. Like you, you've meant to do it, right? That's murder. Okay. Fair notice is like this. Fair notice defense thing. It's basically <clears throat> when the law is too vague, right? So <laughs> if I was to, so it's not. It's not a. It's not a. You did this. It's a. You maybe did this instead. Yeah, yeah. It's like right. say, like like so basically. Uh, how how it's working is that they've they've got this 1.3 billion unregistered securities and i think i haven't done full research because i've never thought of uh investing in xrp but um i think basically they used these securities to finance their business to begin with or or somewhere somewhere along those lines right and ba- basically what what it seems like which i could be completely wrong is that this isn't stated in the law. Maybe what they did and how they got these like securities or whatever isn't stated in the law. Almost like a loophole in a way. Yeah, maybe it is a bit of a loophole. Maybe right, right. maybe they've just got lucky or whatever, right? And because of this, price went up thirty percent. Fucking Six, hell! It was a, it was at sixty, I think sixty cents at the time. It's at eighty cents now. So uh, um. big big gains for anyone who's holding it. But um. The, the reason why I didn't put this one first is because uh, it, it ain't all sunshine or rainbows for XRP. It's not, it's not. It's, uh, we got to this 80, 80 uh, cents mark, but even, even then it's still, like on the weekly chart, you have EMAs, basically uh, exponential moving averages. So it's like an average of like a certain amount of bars back. And the right. 20, basically like, the 10 the 20 the 50 and the 100 and maybe some other ones like they're they're like the main ones that people look at and there's a thing called a death cross and it's where one of the lower ema so say the ema 10 crossed downwards below the say ema 100 that that would be a death cross right and the ema 20 is just about to cross below the ema 50 so uh Although all of this price action, all all of the, all of the this stuff about all this good good court case standing and all that sort of stuff, like uh, it may it may not be great because uh, when that happens, price seems to go down. Right. It's, it's like when there's a death cross. No, normally, it's it's like a it's it's a bit outdated. It's like it's it's information that's it's kind of already been told. Like it's already happened. Right, but it. at the same time. It can also, like, uh, mean a bit for the future as well. So, so uh, it could it could spell a bit of a bad uh, a bit of a bad. <clears throat> so what bad impact, impact what impacts would that on have then? Well, just the price going down. Like just if big, uh, big, if big plummet. If, if there's a if there's like a bar that goes underneath the. EMAs anyway, at least. I, f- I think at the moment, if I go and check real quick. Uh, <laughs> trade in view. I think at the moment, XRP on the weekly is above those two EMAs. Let me have a quick mm, check. I'll be right back. I just need to go talk to someone about food. Yeah, no worries. Right. But no worries. Right, so. <laughs> I haven't even got the EMAs up. Right, here we go. Type it in 50. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, so the price at the moment... Has it already happened? No. No, right, no, it hasn't. <laughs> yeah, the pr- price at the moment is above the EMA. If, if that drops below, it could be uh, it could be a bit bad. Oh, I'm looking at the one day, I'm stupid. This is the one week. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. You know Cry- what? Christ don't chairs know. moving incredibly weirdly there. <laughs> on, edge, the on edge after the goal stories, bro. The ghost. Yeah, uh, I don't look into XRP. The price, the price is currently below that. So uh, the EMA twenty. If if I was to say last week, it would have looked awful. Like before this, uh, this good information from the court case, it would have looked awful for XRP. Like right, I'm I'm talking like very very like very bad like. Um, big stinky one, big stinky. With the new information, it looks <laughs> looks a bit like the EMA twenty is going like 
it's changing direction. Right. Uh, it just could, it could it's quick it can just turn. It's mad how quick it can turn dependent on outside factors. It can just fucking switch like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the core case, like, is, is literally XRP. Like, if if they didn't have a court case, they could be worth a lot more money. They actually, like, the currency could be worth so much more money right. as well. Like, but, uh, it bas- basically the court case anything bad that happens in the court case like that reflects on the price like yeah of course anything good anything good happens in the court case yeah, price, it's all publicity price. isn't it yeah yeah <clears throat> but yeah i guess uh that takes us on to some some other good events uh that have happened so we had bitcoin breaking bitcoin. the 40k the 40k uh Ooh. barrier Damn. so uh obviously so it dropped to 32k um it went up of 40 40k like Fucking that's just hell. like that's, that's any huge. any price uh any any like price uh milestone like 10k 20k 30k 40k 50k all the way to 100k any of those like it's like a psychological barrier like, yeah people, of course people like as, as it, soon as it gets to 40k yeah, yeah, people yeah. think ah, oh, it's shit. not gonna go up more than that like I, I don't want to buy it at that price you know what i mean when when 40k really that could that's probably undervalued for bitcoin at average, some point. Yeah. Like, so it's it's not like a an awful price to buy at but like if you were to buy at 40k maybe a few months ago you could have been up to 69k yeah which is, yeah of course like that's that's well i say almost so you've you've made three quarters on your investment yeah, if you do that. yeah. like so it all depends when you buy but 40k um breaking that 40k especially like when the price has been going down for so long we were at 69k all the way down to 32k that's more than 50 percent yeah of a loss if you bought at the top uh um, so yeah breaking that 40k it could be like a bit of a confirmation that the downtrend has stopped a bit i guess yeah at least things are looking up i guess yeah and the <clears throat> the, the sad part is uh the 50 million dollars worth of short traded trades were liquidated in an hour because of that so because so of the because of the drop million. you mean yeah yeah right. no no because of the, because of the increase so a short trade is basically um when you're betting on something going down so you you make a trade but instead of making money when the price goes up you make money when the price goes down instead um so people like you can use leverage short trades as well so if uh, if you use leverage uh, you're trading with more money than you actually have but you also have that risk of liquidation so like say say the price goes down 10 percent when you've got a long trade on right yeah yeah uh and you're an an 100x leverage like you, you've you've lost all your money because you've liquidated right right but uh yeah so 50 million dollars in an hour lost jesus God. christ just just because just because the price has gone up that much so like Im- imagine like you like to be fair like it's not a bad place to try and short it because as soon as it gets to that 40k it could literally just like people start thinking oh no i don't it's want to gonna drop now. again yeah and then it could drop like so people like it's not actually that bad of a move to leverage i guess that. i guess it's better to, to better <laughs> sell whilst it's at the mid level and potentially could go down again than it is to sell when you're at the 32k point yeah, when it's at yeah. the bottom yeah yeah exactly. that, that, that makes sense to be fair <clears throat> yeah we... better, better to be safe than sorry i guess is, yeah, is the way yeah. i put it Yep. Yeah. We have, we have, we have, we have another big bit of news. Another Ooh. big bit of news. So, this is, this is, like, if, uh, if you're getting a new iPhone, there's a new feature, tap to pay, right? And basically, so uh, they've, they've made it as, it's like a new sort of contactless, right? Uh, it's like they're like trying to promote like small businesses, like right. accepting, like being able to accept contactless and all that sort of stuff. However, I don't think i don't think apple pay or google pay accepted crypto uh credit cards or like debit cards right. or like or oh, whatever yeah. they are however uh this one hasn't got any like they, they haven't announced anything that blocks uh crypto cards so like the crypto.com uh, visa card the coinbase uh i, I think it's a dead so, just so a what, debit you, card. what you're saying is essentially soon you're going to be able to use these cryptos like a normal credit card I, and a normal bank i don't think the actual crypto but the basically the cards you can really quickly like transfer your crypto into money and then it's in it's pretty much Damn, in the same account that's like, huge so 
So you can transfer that into money and then be able to buy stuff from your crypto account without having to transfer your crypto back to money and then back to another bank account, if you know what I mean. Yeah, damn, so, that's, uh, actually, that's actually pretty big. And especially with like, if unless there is something that there is a direct feature that is added, like, oh, you can't use this card, you can't use this card, right? Mm. Like, if, if that happens, then, yeah, that's just a bit sad. Yeah, but, uh, yeah of course. If not, that also means that Apple are on board with crypto, which... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, if any company wants to be outside... Ally, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, not, it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad um, company to be friends with, to be honest. Yeah, man, uh, completely. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, after and that, you, you already know on to- Amazon will get on board with it as well if Apple do. You'll start to see all these big, massive companies start to try and sort of climb the way into see, it, I, I reckon. Amazon, Amazon at one point, were there were was like speculation of them accepting Bitcoin. I don't. It never happened. I don't know why it didn't happen. I Like, maybe they just shut it down and said, no, nah, that's, that's bullshit, but... Like uh, yeah, that that uh, that was a potential. Like when when Bitcoin was going up, that was like a potential outcome of the right, situation. Right. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was a while ago. Now I think maybe even like nine months ago. But uh, another one, another one. Let's go on to the next one. Russia. We spoke about Russia we in did, that podcast. We did. We did. Has that affected we things? We spoke about we spoke about the war that could potentially outbreak. And uh, there was a call between big old Boris Johnson and Vladimir Putin. And there, there was not much really said. It could be complete bullshit. But uh, Putin said something along the lines of that he didn't want a war and he wanted to resolve the conflict with just words. So if that was to happen, mm. he, well, I say if that was to happen, it probably will happen. Yeah. But uh, well, <laughs> if that ha- yeah, <laughs> you never know. Uh, if that does happen, people people will be a lot like a lot more lenient with their say lenient. I don't know what the word. They'll they'll spend a lot more. Like you, you you're not going to be thinking about oh if there's a war I want to save money so that I can buy shit. Like or yeah, I don't know how people's brains work yeah, to be honest. Yeah. Like, no, you got to panic save money. More, like they'd be like. There'd be rations, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right, you are bro. right. People are panic by you. But yeah, pe- pe- people don't... There'd also be people... rations. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, cry. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of a given, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, sorry. But anyway, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, big old Putin, he said... Yeah, nah, we, we don't want a war, we don't want a war. So people instantly are going to be thinking, right, that, that's, that sounds good, we're in the clear, there's not going to be a war, let's take all the funds out, splash it in Bitcoin. Uh, so I don't know if the price ever actually went up because of that, because it's Boris talking to Putin, like it's Boris. You can't trust Boris. No, no, <laughs> no, oh, uh, no, <laughs> no, you yeah. can't. no, you can't. Uh, Putin True. could just be playing him, like, he could, he could have him, like, tied up to a chair like <laughs> if you wanted to can have him whisked off to russia can we can we have like a uh like a quick um example dialogue of what that would have sounded like between the biggest <laughs> clown and <laughs> and the most I evil full, not I evil full ruler world, man. no we don't really want you to do that though vladimir we do don't we really want you to <laughs> kill the world stay, stay, stay home Stay alive. Vladimir, we, Vladimir alive. we don't really want to hurt anyone here, do we? Restrictions. Including the restriction to not have war against you. <laughs> cry, 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 cry actually kind of looks like him right now. Like the, the outfit. Not not the actual No, looks. I need more um, the attire. More kind of maybe a clown wig or something. <laughs> clown wig. And fake chins. Because Boris Johnson has <laughs> fake chins, so many chins. Oh, Cry yeah. host the party that isn't a party. Yeah, yeah, mum. <clears throat> host a party that isn't. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. That's what Boris did, isn't it, mum? He hosted a party. Yeah, but it, it wasn't a party. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a party though. Anyway, that's a different topic for a different it's not day. A party, bro. It's um, a party. No, it was just do, do we it was, have time? It's just a conservative party. I think we might have taken it a bit long to move on to the the the, the final topic. So. Um, 
if Maka wants to add some more to the crypto and we leave it I've at got, that. I've got like literally a, a little bit left. Will you, will you, very, you finish, off your, right, finish yeah. off your crypto and then we'll, we'll end there and we'll move the final topic on to next week's po- um, next right. episode three. <clears throat> sounds, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, I'm just looking at time. Back to me notes. Back to me notes. Back to the notes, Maka. So, uh, okay, that's the, that's, that's the bad event. Yeah, we're not onto that yet. Uh, that right here. So, Russia uh, again. Russia again. Um, basically, Russia. it's like a. It's kind of like a hotspot for Bitcoin mining. There's a lot of right. Or, I don't know if it's Bitcoin mining or development, but one of the two. Right. I don't. I don't look into all that sort of stuff completely. I, I have like a a bit of knowledge about it, but I more just trade. And like, if you don't have any knowledge about it, then you're going to be bad at trading, but if you're <laughs> like, yeah. But anyway, so uh, there was like a lot of speculation that Russia were going to ban Bitcoin entirely. They were just going to, they were going to try and like, you know how China banned Bitcoin and no one really cared. Yeah. Like it was going to have, have like that, but people would have cared. Like mm, people mm. really would have cared. But um, basically last, I think it was last week. I don't know. I think it was last week. Uh, they just did like a complete 180 and uh, they they basically got the Russian central bank to start recognizing Bitcoin as a, an actual that was a, currency. That's a change of mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got, got their central bank to recognize Bitcoin as a currency rather than just like a shitty token on the internet. Fair play. That's, uh, that's a quite a cool move. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. I, I think personally it's, that's... That's a bit on the side of Putin, and uh, maybe he has a few things he likes about not tracking money. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd make sense. That'd make sense. Yeah. Every, every, everyone likes privacy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, who knows? Putin's, fair, got, Putin, uh, Putin's got his meme, his Dogecoin when, on the side, bro. I mean, when you, I mean, buy when poison, you, when you, you think about it, though, yeah, Euros, exactly, exactly. When you think about it, if they're buying stuff... They they could literally just be buying stuff for a war with Ukraine with that Bitcoin. You never know, like anything. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'll give, you, I'll give you twenty Bitcoin for a fucking tank. Yeah, but B- B- Boris has been played. <laughs> I'll give you twenty Bitcoin for a tank, and they they can't see that because uh, you know they can't see that. Yeah, they can't see that uh, they're buying this shit with Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, Boris can trade him some wigs. Trade him some wigs, bro. <laughs> fucking wigs. Fucking okay, armor. No, I don't think anyone would want that. <clears throat> but yeah, I think uh, you're right. after that we had we had was it after no this was this was before this was before that just before that this basically the price got up to 45k and then it dropped to like 42 point something right, right. which it, it basically hit the 100 EMA and then there was a a bad event so of course it's not going to push through like a massive point of resistance with a bad event like ongoing yeah so uh Price dropped and then it hit like another EMA and then bounced back up and then like, it's just kind of like sitting around at the moment, sitting around those sort of EMAs and uh, like while, while while all the markets like ranging and like it's like sat this one point, uh, the EMAs are just slowly creeping up and like as I said about a death cross earlier, there's also a golden cross and if one of the smaller EMAs crosses above one of the bigger EMAs, it normally means the price is going to go up. So. Right. Uh, that that hopefully will happen, but uh, fingers crossed, lads. What what happened to make, uh, but well, to basically cause Bitcoin to not push through this 100 EMA is obviously people were already a bit skeptical, like oh, it's, this is the highest it's been in a while, and then the bad event. Uh, I think the the US they announced something about inflation rates up at 7.5 percent, which oh. uh, which uh. Like, this, this is what I'm thinking, right? Okay, maybe my brain doesn't work. What maybe. are you thinking, I'm, I'm Talk to us, right. talk to us, what? If, uh, if Bitcoin is going up in price, you're getting more dollars for your Bitcoin, right? More bang for your buck. And if the dollar's inflating at a higher rate, then you're getting even more dollars for your Bitcoin. Yeah, you're essentially getting Bitcoin cheaper and earning so more So why the fuck would you take your money out of Bitcoin <laughs> to get the dollars back? Like, and the price well, went so, down. So what are you saying? Keep keep it as Bitcoin until the inflation on dollars lowers? Is that what you're saying? Well, 
I, I don't even know. Like, I, I think so, but maybe I'm just stupid. Like, <laughs> he doesn't know. Max he's, like, like, he's like me with the pyramid scheme. He just <laughs> literally. I just don't even know. No, but like, it's it, like for me, like, like my brain. Maybe it just doesn't work. But if 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 the dollar, if you're getting more dollars for your Bitcoin, then why would you, like, over time, like, why why would you just? I don't know. I don't know. No, nah, maybe, maybe maybe I'm just maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I am. Uh, but yeah, if 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 inflation rates are going up, then then that that basically means the price of uh, the dollar is going down. So uh, yeah, why, true, why true. would you why would you buy an inflationary currency over a deflationary currency? Like, yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. Like, I, I don't know. Like pe- apparently, it scared people. Like uh, I, I'm not scared. I'm massive. <laughs> <laughs> CX Chad on the phone. CX Chad, bro. CX yeah, Chad. Seen his profile picture. Yeah. Fucking yeah, dude. Mate, this on. man's built different. This man's built different. Uh, Fucking hell. Did you? Did you? Uh, I read something. But I don't know if this is like a big thing. Or maybe I just got clickbaited. What? Well, okay, I didn't get clickbaited because I actually read it. But um, did you know that uh, Facebook and Instagram might be removed from Europe if Facebook doesn't comply with uh, the new laws that are going to be in place? Shit. In Europe? Oh, really? So they won't be. You won't be able to use Instagram. I don't use either of them anyway. To be fair, but. No, no, yeah, I, no, I, mean, no I, actually, do I. <laughs> I, I do sometimes use Instagram, um, but uh, VR is actually run off of that, but I don't think that would be the same thing. Like, I'm, sure, mm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that company would probably come yeah. up with a workaround if that was the case. Yeah. But yeah, Oculus, yeah, probably, but the thing is they own it, so they would have to, basically the reason they don't want to is because they have to have, um, they, the new law is that you're not allowed to have uh, data in um, across uh different countries or into different um kind of what uh continent uh so what? europe will basically if you if you take it's like russians don't like that russians like all the data to be on yeah. their own uh yeah, soil right. but basically um facebook will have to have all of their european data which is apparently the mo- the biggest market is in europe i didn't know that oh, apparently yeah, the yeah. biggest market for for meta is actually in europe not america um oh, so yeah. they have to have all of the european data in europe which means they obviously have to open up whole new data centers which cost yeah. m- oh, money. billions if you, if you actually see how much security goes into them it would literally cost billions that like they are unreal how secure they are so it's like mm. they would have to basically spend all this money and and Mark Zuckerberg, I mean Zuckerberg, um, <laughs> he threatened that he, would, he he uh, he threatened to basically uh, ba- remove you know Facebook and Instagram from Europe. But I kind of read it. I was like, mm, are they really going to lose probably most of like- their income just to be defiant? Mm, yeah, sure. probably, yeah, you know, you know, I actually wouldn't be surprised if if he actually would do that because. Uh, he's he's trying mm. to move away from the social media side of things. He's like, mm. yeah, but wouldn't, fair, wouldn't if, it be fucking stupid for him to to sacrifice? Yeah, but, no, but it, a it, huge wouldn't, it wouldn't. It wouldn't though because he's he's, yeah. like, he's so minted that it doesn't matter if he he loses his companies. I mean, but they're I mean, still greedy, aren't they? They still. Yeah, 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 he wouldn't be doing any of this if he didn't want more I'm money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise you just sit there while you're poor every day, wouldn't you? So, like they've, you know, they like rebranded like to Meta instead of just Facebook Inc or whatever it was. Like that's that's meant to be like VR. That's so well. They're they're, they're going to try and get it so that it's VR that's so realistic that you can't tell it apart from the real world, yeah. right? But alongside that, they're going to open an NFT marketplace. So it does tie that ties into crypto as well. To be fair, uh, they're going to try and open like the world's biggest NFT marketplace. So like where you can buy all your PNG monkeys and all that sort <laughs> of stuff for seventy billion or whatever it is. PNG monkeys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just stupid. <laughs> but like, like that, that's the thing. Like Tezos, what I was talking about earlier, they they do a lot to do with like NFTs because like that's their gap in the market. Like no one else, no one else at the time really did NFTs. And Tezos, right, will make right. a marketplace, and that's 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 where they found the gap in the market. Like if uh, if Facebook goes into that space, then all the people who just use Facebook. Uh, we'll then see our oh, meta, all oh, that's linked with Facebook, and then they'll see all these NFTs you can buy. Uh, and instantly, all these probably like there's probably like over a billion people, I'd say. No, maybe, maybe not. Like, there's a lot of people who've used Facebook, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like all those people who've used Facebook 
are instantly gonna be like oh nfts right they're, they're instantly yeah, but, exposed but to nfts if, you, if you're from the eu and you didn't have access to that like that's just cutting out a no, huge no that's market. what i'm saying that that could that could be bad for that yeah i guess yeah, yeah, so, yeah, fair, fair. but uh yeah i don't know it, it, like it depends how it goes like if if that nft marketplace was a thing I, f- I think crypto could rock it and nfts might actually become a uh something useful rather yeah, than I just mean. a png monkey but uh <laughs> i forgot what the, i forgot what the, there, was, there was some company try who was trying to do something with nfts I forgot what it was it was it was actually something really useful though something that could be oh used. i remember you telling me about it in it the one that stops youtube videos from like buffering at all nah nah that's not nfts that? that's a yeah that's theater they have like they have um some video technology but, uh, it's kind of hard isn't that impossible to stop videos buffering i mean you can make no, it no. better but how can you that stop was, if someone's that's, got terrible that's, that's what internet. this company supposedly figured out yeah. it's like if you've got if your internet physically stops working for no like, no I, minutes, I mean like, then it's physically I, impossible right because videos they, they I do ima- I imagine they kind of save I, ima- I imagine it's something more in hmm. the video, video codec and like the way it loads up yeah, yeah, because they do yeah, yeah. they do preload most of the video. They're like, well, not most of it, but if you if you look at a video when it when it buffers, yeah, you, you can tell it only starts buffering. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe their idea is to like uh, load the entire the whole video. thing. That'd be my in, thought. That'd no, be my no, thought. but I mean, like, that'd be sick. I, I think they do streams though. As in, like, say say you're watching like the zone. You're watching a uh, KSI clobber Logan Paul, <laughs> like. That that's the sort of thing they're trying to make not buffer. I, I don't know if they've actually figured it out or they're close to figuring out. I like I don't know. I used to invest in them, but yeah, they just they've just gone down in price, haven't they? But, oh. Well, yeah. Well, um, to be honest, we were meant to have we were meant to have a we were meant to have a possible four topics today, and the two of these were that interesting that it took up the entire two hours, pretty much. <laughs> But I'm fine yes. with that. That's exactly what so, I want from this podcast. I want to get lost in the conversation sometimes and make it just... Yeah, that, yeah. that ghost... Top, the ghost conversation at the beginning for the first hour does exactly what I want the vibe to be from oh, this podcast. Yo, I literally shit myself So early, good, yeah. man. I, know. I, I threw that canvas on my bed, right? And then I looked over and I... I didn't see it. I looked at the wrong part of my bed. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, it's fucking moved. It's fucking moved, bro. Don't, don't be scared. Uh, and now I like, looked sight down. I was like... Oh. Fucking okay, no, hell, man! Jesus Christ! We yeah. actually have uh, we have more for next time on the ghost. Yeah, as well. yeah, we do. We've we, got, we, uh, we got a bit on. more, maybe a bit more on on possession. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe talk about the conjuring. Um, uh, maybe talk about. I want to. I want to get some help. actual like proper ghost stories that we can research and bring to yeah. the podcast and read out on there, so we can discuss that together. I feel like that oh, would be a really good thing for I have so many yeah, that I've yeah, seen yeah. online. I didn't yeah, mention today yeah. because they're they're not. Yeah, I haven't. No, I but you know, maybe, maybe, really, maybe at some point we should do a, we should do an entire episode based around just different ghost stories because I feel like we could easily fill up two hours with that, if not more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, easy, mm-hmm. easy. Oh, urban legends. They're urban, urban legends like, yeah, are the best yeah, because yeah. they actually are believable. A lot of them, and you can kind of yeah. go through and like mm, fairies. You know. stuff. Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. Yeah, yeah we could do those. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, we're gonna end there, I believe, folks. I'm gonna find after a block macker and cry's face with the internet. I'm gonna find someone to send us over to. Um, but until next time, folks, two Friday, not next Friday, the Friday after will be episode three. Uh, there'll be plenty of hyping up before then, but I am going to yes. switch over to the start or the ending screen at the, in this case. Um, do you want to say bye guys? Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <gamers. laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you all for listening. Have a good one. Episode two of the no name podcast. Don't forget that name. YouTube uploads will come over the next week, but until then folks, enjoy your weekend. I will see you all tomorrow for a super long stream. Um, do not miss that, folks. And yeah, Stay thank home. you. Control the virus. Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs>